A flight home for a Mason couple surprisingly lands them in the frozen tundra of Canada, stuck at a military base for hours. It is our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry jones Shaman has the night off. More than 200 Delta Airlines passengers spent part of their weekend in Canadian military barracks. Their flight from Amsterdam to Detroit had to be diverted after their plane experienced a mechanical issue. Josh Sanchez spoke with a Mason man who says he's happy to find finally be home. That's right. Nathan Johnson says patience is a valuable tool when he's in the classroom as a teacher. This weekend, that virtue came in handy after his plane had to make an unscheduled stop in Canada. You're watching the little tracking thing on the back of the seat. You see this big U-turn and it changes from three hours left to 40 minutes left. The pilot came on and said due to some de-icing malfunctions with one of the engine mechanisms we had to make, a landing at the nearest airport. And that happened to be at Goose Bay, Canada. Nathan Johnson and his wife did not expect to see the frozen landscape during their recent trip to Europe. Nothing anywhere. It's snowy. It's icy. Johnson says passengers were stuck on the plane with some taking short trips to wait in an airport lounge. It wasn't until around 11 o'clock at night that another plane showed up. But come to find out, that crew had reached their flight time limit and couldn't take off, leaving 270 people to spend the night in barracks. And I'm telling you, the roof of the plane almost blew off. Johnson says the ordeal was hard on his wife, who went through intensive treatment in Germany for Lyme disease. She was frustrated. She was sick and tired and over it. I was like, honey, there's nothing we, you know, we can't, you can't do it. It wasn't until Monday afternoon that a third flight crew finally got the stranded passengers up in the air. Johnson says he's thankful for the crews, but says more could have been done to handle the logistics with better communication. A spokesperson with Delta says crew duty hours were impacted due to weather and runway conditions, adding Delta sent additional aircraft to Goose Bay to bring customers to their final destination Monday. We apologize to customers for this inconvenience. Now Johnson tells me Delta has refunded his flight along with $300. An additional $650 were paid to him due to European regulations for passenger compensation. Back to you.